In this video tutorial, I shall demonstrate how to display videos in a light box. You will need internet and an HTML editor like Expression Web or Dreamweaver. So let's get started by opening up your internet browser and navigating to videolightbox.com. Once you have navigated to the site, select free download and proceed to download the application. Once the application is downloaded, go through the installation prompts. Once the software has finished installing, we're going to need some videos to display in our light box. So open up your web browser and go to any video sharing site such as YouTube and get some videos. In order to do this, we're going to need the URL of the video. So I'm just going to go to my channel and I'm going to select the last video tutorial I've created and I'm going to go up to the URL bar and I'm going to copy the URL. And then I'm going to go to the video lightbox application and I'm going to paste in the URL and I'm going to select add video. Once you have added the desirable videos, you can customize the thumbnails and how the, lot, the light box will look. I'm going to add a Vista style theme. Once you're done, select publish and publish it to a local folder. We're going to be using it later. It should look somewhat, somewhat like this. Now that we have created a simple basic light box, we're going to embed this into a sample website. In the end, it's going to look something like this. I have went ahead and gone into Expression Web and have created a simple uh, website with simple CSS that we're going to be embedding the lightbox into. So go ahead and open your uh, web editor and create a sample website. Then select the HTML file where you want to embed your lightbox and go into the code. Then go to the place where you have saved your lightbox and copy the data and the engine folders to your website. And then find the index.html file and open it using your HTML editor. Now, you will see some comment tags indicating the code that you should copy into your website. It should be the code that you put in your header tag and the code which you will put in your body tags. So we're going to proceed to copy this code. In my website, I'm using master pages, so it gives me a specific place to copy the code. But if you're using a program like Dreamweaver, and you're using just simple CSS styles, just copy it inside the tags. Once you have copied the code, just save your website and then preview it. When you preview it, it's going to give you a prompt asking to allow ActiveX controls. This will happen if you're viewing your website locally, but if you're viewing it offline, I mean online, on your website itself, the prompt will not occur. As you see, the light box is fully functional. Now we are going to try something else. We are going to create an image of a YouTube player or any other player and when we click on it it's going to generate a light box. We're going to do something slightly different here but it is very simple. So first we're going to have to create our snapshot of the video player. You can use any program like Jing, Snagit or the simple snipping tool that comes with Windows. The process to capture uh, the screenshot should be fairly easy, depending on the program that you use. 
Once you capture it, save it to your website and name it whatever you want. For my sample website, I'm just going to call it image. Once you have saved the image, you're going to proceed to design the lightbox. So open up Expression Web or whatever uh, HTML editor you're using and open up the HTML file where you're going to contain your lightbox. You're also going to go into the video lightbox folder and copy your data and engine as we did in the previous uh, demonstration. So once we have opened up the page that we're going to want to edit, we're going to go into the code view again. And we're going to go back to uh, Windows Explorer and we're going to open up the default index.html file. Please note that this is a different uh, lightbox project I created. This one only contains uh, one lightbox with one video. And then again, we're going to proceed to copy the header tags into the header and the body tags into the body. And there's only one thing that we're going to change. Once you have copied the body tags in, we're going to edit the image source. I'm going to first insert in a break so that it looks more neat. Now, once the code is copied in, we're going to find the image source tag. And as you see, it's pointing to what it normally looks like. Now we are going to change this to the image.png file that we created earlier. Once this is done, we successfully finished. And we're going to save and preview it. Now, as you see, it looks like a video player. And when we click on it, it's going to display our video in a light box. And that is it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com. If you have any questions, feel free to give me an email at admin at thehackersjournal.com.